In today's video, I'm putting together some fall decor pieces I know you're gonna love using Dollar Tree items. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm making some really fun, nice looking fall decor crafts that I know you're gonna love. These turned out even better than I thought and I was super excited to share them with you guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, make sure you hit subscribe, and let's go ahead and jump on into these crafts. Jumping on into this first easy peasy Dollar Tree DIY, I'm using one of these plastic buckets. These are kind of like the little laundry baskets with a little handle on there. I found them in the organization section and I just picked up this blue one that had this really cool um, little pattern on the edges. I'm using some hammered spray paint from Rust-Oleum, but feel free to use any color that you would like. It just gives it this gorgeous bronzed metal almost look to it. To really decorate this up, I'm actually going with a nice piece from Hobby Lobby, this little sign. These only cost a couple bucks, and then um, make sure you always use a coupon or get them on sale, but just adding this into the front makes it look really nice quality. But Dollar Tree sells a ton of different pumpkins, so you definitely could make a little charm like this yourself out of some of their wooden pumpkins, but this just dresses it up and makes it a super inexpensive, easy project that you can make your own little blanket basket and fill with pumpkins and just a gorgeous piece added into your home fall decor. next project I was super excited because I got this really cool idea to create a little worded banner using the wooden blocks from Dollar Tree so I needed some type of container so I'm putting together four of these mini little crates that are one of my favorite products that Dollar Tree has right now in the crafter square and I go ahead and paint them with some of this smoky brown color this is my favorite spray paint for fall it just looks gorgeous especially on this natural wood that takes spray paint really well I get these all stacked up and glued together nice and tight and I'm just really wanting this to look like a larger container so like I said I can dangle that little wooden bead garland that I want to hang in the front. It was super windy whenever I was trying to spray paint this outside so I just brought it in and I can I definitely noticed really quick that I missed some spots so taking some elephant colored chalk paint I'm just going to dry brush over this which is something that I would have done anyway but this definitely helps helps out when I'm trying to cover up the spots that I missed so it definitely camouflages all of those imperfections especially if you don't like or you're not very good at spray painting. So to make the little wooden garland that I was super excited about I'm using these wood craft cubes from Crafter Square and I took took my drill and I'm just going to drill some holes in the center of this. I did do this on my Dollar Tree cutting mat just to protect my table and service area um, and then I didn't want to drill all the way down because this mat is not very thick and I didn't trust it so I am pulling the bead up or the little block up as it gets close to the end. So I was really surprised how easy these were to drill a hole in there so um, go ahead and try it. It's definitely something that you can do. You just have to have the drill bit and then I picked out some of these orange beads out of the Dollar Tree beads, thread them on this jute this piece of jute string using um, a larger bead, a block, and then a smaller bead. Um, they didn't have a lot of colors to pick from that would go for fall, but like always, you can definitely put beads on a skewer stick and paint them yourself. After knotting the ends, I took a permanent marker, um, a sharpie, a fine, fine tip sharpie would have worked way better because I felt like this one just really bled um, way worse than a lot of my permanent markers. I got all of my letters wrote on there. They were a lot more bold than I wanted them to be. So like I said, I think that a fine tip would work really well or maybe even some type of tiny, tiny sticker. Um, I was just gonna hang this off of this little wooden crate, but all of my blocks kept turning, so I did just go ahead and glue a lot of them down so they would stay in place, but it still looks like it swags, like it is kind of have a natural flow to it, like it is hanging there. And then to make this even more cute, I added a couple of jute twine bows to each end and, and then just glued them in place. 
I didn't want to go overboard with the greenery, but to add some floral in here, I'm using three of the Walmart picks that were under a dollar, and this was so easy to put together. I think the orange really pops out of there off of this natural crate that also looks really rustic farmhouse, so a super cute win in my book. Next up, I am making over this little uh, frame. It says, I love my cat, but it's kind of, you know, not the cutest colors. So I really want to give this a fall makeover and make it adorable and a really cute way to display all of those fall and Halloween pictures that we always accumulate. So I go ahead and just remove everything from the frame and then take away everything on the frame by painting this with a couple coats of the steel colored chalk paint. I think it is so much fun to get different looks by using different items from different stores. I found these really cool iron on um, images or little fabric cutouts from Walmart. They had these on an end cap by their fabric aisle. They also had um, some in the Christmas versions and I just thought this was a really cool way to add in different textures and just a different look to it. I love the little truck with the pumpkins in there but as always if you can't find this you definitely could um, make your own using some of the Dollar Tree little wooden pieces like the DIY stickers or the um, Dollar Tree even has out fabric so you could cut out the little love letters at the top but um, instead of using the iron on um, transfer I just went ahead and hot glued these down so that they would um, stick really nicely and not move around. Whenever I purchased this frame, the glass was kind of shifting around, so I tacked it down with some hot glue. I just stuck that 4x6 in there to show you what it looked like all put together, but I think this is adorable and it's such a makeover and different looking than that just plain $1 frame. If you haven't picked up any of these Dollar Tree truffle containers in the party section, I definitely recommend grabbing one or two of them. They just have a lot of potential, like a really cool shape. I think it's funny how the bottom kind of looks like the Dollar Tree candlesticks, like the glass ones that glass ones that we use on everything. But this is like a nice solid piece. It is cheaper plastic, so you wouldn't be able to put anything too heavy in it. But I want to make it over today and make it a really cute little fall container that could hold some pumpkins. So of course I go ahead head and just give this a nice thick coat of Waverly chalk paint and then I distress it just a tiny bit um, and this also protects because if it gets a little scratch in it or something later on you won't even notice but it looks nice and distressed. I wrapped a piece of jute twine around the top and, and, and just tied a knot in the back and then made a cute little bow to go on the front and this this just adds extra texture and I think jute twine always just looks like fall in like rustic farmhouse. I fell in love with these little crafter square stickers and they are kind of in an assortment of like polka dotted and um, gingham or plaid print and then they have stripe ones but they're all in this black and white and gray neutral color and the textures and colors just look so adorable together so I think that's really what this made this so adorable. I put the word gather which is kind of more like a fall word it tends to be um, so you definitely could put something that you could just trade um, the, de the decor that you put in here in and out and it could go for everyday use. I went ahead and just stuffed the bottom with some greenery that I had left over and then I'm using some of these little frosted leaves um, to put in the back. They're kind of like lamb's ear. They have like that soft touch to them and that kind of give it a little bit of height. And then I picked up some of these adorable um, little 
pumpkins from the Dollar General and Hobby Lobby. Um, the little orange plaid ones came from Dollar General. And I was going to use the white ones at first. I thought they would be really cute mixed in. But then I decided I didn't want um, to take up all of the space with the white ones. So I go ahead and remove them and just add in the adorable little gingham pumpkins and then adding some berries in the back. I just felt like um, all of that orange popping out was just adorable and a really cute way to display these and really emphasize on those orange gingham pumpkins. If you've followed my channel very long, you know that I love decorating with window clings. They are just such a fun, easy way to incorporate cutesy little decor pieces because window clings are already so adorable and cute and kind of already like the hard part is done for you. So to really frame these and make them adorable, I am using three of these same size blocks from Dollar Tree, these little um, shelf decor pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip them upside down or backwards so I can paint the sides like a frame. I love using the truffle color. I feel like it just kind of resembles like a darker wood and then because I am going to be putting these um, window clings in the center I need them on a solid background so I do go ahead and just paint those white. I love coffee and fun little fall seasoned drinks so I am going with these fun little um, coffees and mocha looking drinks with the pumpkin pie. I picked up these window clings from Dollar General but they were still just one dollar. They say pumpkin spice and this one has a little cinnamon roll to the side which I think is adorable and then these window clings also come with little leaves that were kind of floating around so I added those in around the images. I wanted to give it a little bit of extra color and detail. The only regret I had with this craft is I wish I would have put um, a little bit of Mod Podge behind these but they just stuck to the back so I was able to just paint over them with Mod Podge and it did hold everything nice and tight down so I didn't have to but I just feel like it kind of would have held it in place more while I was going over that with a thick layer of Mod Podge. I always feel like making these little frames in a set of three just makes such a nicer, larger piece. Very inexpensive to make more of an impact, but a gorgeous piece for less than five bucks to decorate your home. Next up, I wanted to make a modern farmhouse, but yet kind of classy with the black and white farmhouse sign. I love whenever stores put out a very colorful fall decor section, and they also put out a neutral section. So this is kind of what it feels like right now. We're going back into neutral fall farmhouse. I wanted to put this sign together using two of the square Dollar Tree signs. I put these together with my giant popsicle sticks that I pick up from Walmart. It makes it really sturdy, and, and they fit nice and tight together so you won't even be able to tell that this is two pieces. Um, I use my spackle that I pick up from Dollar Tree. I fill in all the cracks and wipe them away or you can wait for it to dry and sand it down and then cover this in white paint. Now for this specific sign I wanted it to look really rustic but I didn't want to have to set and sand on it forever so I am trying to very lightly go over the edges so this does already look pretty much distressed. Painting it less on the edges lets me take my sandpaper and just lightly go over it so it adds in the texture in the center, but the edges already look pretty um, weathered. So this is what I wanted to add on my sign, this gather word from Dollar Tree. If you didn't want this to be a sign that was more towards the fall season and you wanted to enjoy it all year, they also have the word family, uh, which would work really great on there. So I took this outside and painted it black and then using my Cricut, that Cricut gifted to me, I'm working with 
with them um, in a few days. I'm super excited to show you all of my new uh, projects that are coming out, but uh, I wanted some little vines and you definitely could paint this if you wanted to, but I wanted them to look really nice and straight and clean cut. So I cut these out on my Cricut. They did, the little leaves did cut individual, um, even though I attached them all together. So I'm going to have to go back and figure out what I did wrong, but I did have to use my transfer tape to get them on my sign. I go ahead and measured where I needed that gather to be directly in the center and then I can put my transfer tape on my little vines and place them on each side of the gather. How simple and cute is this? For like three bucks, you can make really fun wall decor pieces so you can make your home all gorgeous and cozy on a budget. Another really cool item that I found at Dollar Tree were these glass candle holders that already had the little oval black chalkboard piece on there, which I thought was adorable. It's just painted on there and this is ready to go. Um, I'm using one of my chalk writers. I would recommend doing this in a white paint marker so it's more permanent because this will come off, but I thought it would be cute to be able to kind of change this out. I picked up a pack of tiny little wooden leaves from Hobby Lobby, so I attached one of those to the bottom, but you also could use one of Dollar Tree's DIY wooden stickers and then using some of some more of this gorgeous vase filler that I picked up from Hobby Lobby I stuck that in there this is like the easiest DIY that I've ever did on my channel but I put that in the glass container and then filled it in with some of these florals I have some lamb's ear this is from Hobby Lobby but I also love to get it from Walmart and then also one of those orange um, pumpkin picks from Walmart and just kind of tuck them down in there I didn't want it to be super full because I want the emphasis of this to be kind of on the vase filler um, and then I shifted around my uh, floral pieces so that you couldn't see the ends and the sides but I think this is just such a fun piece for just a few bucks to use and really add a little pop of color into your table decor. I found these large ceramic pumpkins from Dollar Tree. These are like a nice size compared to the teeny tiny ones. So I was super excited to paint these. Um, I would recommend spray painting these. It just feels like it would have been a lot easier, but I just dive in with my chalk paint. I wanted these to kind of look like dipped pumpkins, but I've been seeing polka dot pumpkins everywhere. So I thought it would be really fun to mix those two together and kind of do a little bit of both. I love how it looks whenever um, people are adding blacks and grays into the pumpkin for farmhouse. It just looks so classy and nice. So for this, I was scared to add painter's tape to the top of this. I just was scared it was going to peel off my chalk paint from the glass container because I've had that happen before on like jars and things. So I just free handed it and I feel like I did a pretty good job of getting that line straight. But then I can take my uh, paintbrush and I pick these up from Dollar Tree in this size. When I see them, I just go ahead and grab like five or six of them. They are just the perfect size um, for projects like this and have like a nice straight edge. So I go ahead and paint the bottom. The longest part on this DIY is just waiting for the paint to dry because I did do a couple coats of each. And then I repeated that for the second pumpkin and then let these really dry before I flip them over and add my little polka dot. This would also be a great project to use your Cricut with. You could cut out the little polka dots as decals, but I'm just freehanding these with my painter's marker and I tried to get them as close to each other as I could in size and shape, but just going all around. There was a couple that I put too close to each other, but you can always flip these around and put the bad side to the back. And I felt like that stem really needed to be black just so something on the pumpkin kind of popped off. But I felt like these orange shiny pumpkins turned into these adorable classy looking little pumpkins that look so cute with all of my other neutral decor. These thankful and blessed pumpkins are one of my favorite 
craft or Dollar Tree fall crafty looking item that they have. Um, they already are beautiful, but since these are a couple years old um, and I already own them, it's fun to give them a little bit of a makeover so that everything in your home is not the same. So for this pumpkin, I removed the metal leaf and the jute twine hanger and flip this upside down and paint it with some pumpkin chalk paint. I think this color is so fun after it dries. It's just like it turns into not such a neon color, which is perfect for this. I add in a little bit of shading by taking some brown umber along with this same pumpkin chalk color and just darkens it up so that I am able to add in that extra detail and curve the lines to make it look more like a real pumpkin. You can see that I got it a little bit too dark on the left, so I do take a little bit more of my original paint color and paint over that um, so it does go back to blending in with the rest of it. And then I dry brush over the entire thing and kind of get it all to look uniform. And then I take a piece of sandpaper and this also just really blends everything in together and looks like it was, you were, you didn't make a uh, mistake. Like it was meant to be like that and it all blends in perfect. And then this was such a fun craft to make. Make. Whenever I used to set up at craft shows, I made larger door hangers and I made one just like this. So this was fun to make a mini Dollar Tree little version, but I'm using some burlap. I pick up my burlap rows in the wedding section at Walmart and I do this because I feel like the burlap is really tight woven and easy to work with rather than a lot of times when you just go buy burlap off of like a fabric roll, it's all loose and like the holes are really large. So if you know where to buy really nice quality burlap, let me know in the comments down below but for now I'll just keep using my little wedding rolls and um, little table runners because they just seem to work really great so I go ahead and cut it down to size I do pull out a string or two at the top and the bottom so it does ravel because I like that look and then hot glue this down nice and tight and then I'm just gonna jump in and freehand the simply at the top um, I know the the um, saying is usually simply blessed on everything but I couldn't find the word blessed in anything so I just glued down thankful and simply thankful it works for me so I thought that was kind of funny um you'll have to let me know if you ever see that anywhere or if it is supposed to just be simply blessed but I am simply thankful I guess but I go ahead and paint the thankful black just so it goes in more with my word simply and then you can tell I add the little dashes on the simply um, at the end of each letter I feel like that gives it more of a polished look and then hot glued the thankful down I was kind of bending it up trying to get it down on this pumpkin but after I get it all tacked down I think it is coming together. I added two more of those little wooden leaves that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and then added back in the jute uh, string hanger. And this is just a really fun way to dress up that same pumpkin that we see every year. The next thing that I am making is another floral arrangement using some of these metal ear of corn, corn on the cobs, corn on these metal stands, little yard stakes, and I am using another one of these adorable fall buckets that say Farm Fresh Pumpkins, and um, they, they come in three different styles. I'm not sure if a ton of people found them. I just kind of lucked out because I went on a road trip to a main store and found them, so super excited, and I thought this would be perfect. I trimmed down those little... Um, corn stakes with my um, wire cutters but I did have to bend it back and forth a lot to get it to break off and then at first I just added another little piece of wire to that third little corn I forgot to mention but that one fell off the stake before I got it home and I tried to glue it on another one but it kept falling off so I ended up just tucking it and gluing it down straight to the styrofoam that I put down in this bucket and then filled it up with some lamb's ear, some of these mini little sunflowers and tried to fill it in. I didn't want to add in a lot of color because that would take away from the yellow of the corn and I do want this to kind of look more farmhouse but have that little yellow pop of color. But super, super simple and inexpensive to put this together. I think it is adorable and looks so farmhouse. 
Also, side note, but I want to give a huge thank you to my sweet subscriber and friend Kim for hunting this adorable little gingham truck sign down for me from Walmart that I wanted so bad. So thank you so much, Kim. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting with me today. I love crafting so much, especially in the fall season. They just have so many colors and so Dollar Tree is putting out so much craft supplies for us. So it's just really fun. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye.